Go do all the Mandalorian things. Do you want to do the intro, Mel? Go ahead. Hey, it's Mandalorian. It's going to be really good. Hey, um, Mandalorian. That sounds like a Disney <laughs> kids show or something. <laughs> Mandalorian. It's You're Mandalorian. watching the Mandalorian only on Disney Channel. <laughs> so guess what? We've gone. What? This is the fourth episode of our coverage of the television show Mandalorian, and we're on season. Three. We haven't even done a single comment showcase. Wow. Oh, oh, let's change that right boy. now. Oh my god. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. What's, what's, what's the intro? Uh, Very nice. Yeah. Right, yeah. What are our what do we comments? Get? Well, what do we these get? are probably just going to be memes because everybody's just. <laughs> there's just nothing. There's not much to talk about. There's just everyone's just making fun of it. <laughs> I guess I'm curious what the general sentiment is towards uh, this Bad. season so far. Bad. It seems to be. <laughs> yeah. It does seem to be. Yeah. Well, so these are from episode one. Then we will move over to episode two. Uh, I don't know what everyone said about episode three yet. I know that our take on it will be unique, though. That's going to be Ooh. an interesting showcase when that comes around. Yeah, like, because we, we went through a lot of, like, we even paused the episode. We went through it. So I don't yeah, know what everyone's going to take, mm -hmm. think of our take, but I still think you, you summarized it best, Rags, with diet and or. I think that is a very good description of it because it isn't quite as good as uh, and or consistently was, but it is making more of an effort to be an actual story than Mando has ever done. Yes. You want to tussle its hair and say, keep keep at it, kid. It wasn't like brilliant or anything, but seriously, like that's move in that direction, please. Absolutely. I'd say it was yeah. good. Uh, so you must. And because this uh, la last week's episode was so good, surely this week will be just like it. Oh, we, we can spend a little I bit do. in a moment. We have to roll all the way back to episode one for a while, because we're going to yes. see what oh, everyone I thinks would. of it. Don't you love how Bo-Katan sits there on the throne like a literal NPC waiting for a protagonist? It's yeah. Pretty it's, funny. It's, we speculate it's that just she a, just doesn't have anything to do. She's literally yeah, just, she just sits there. Just sit there all alone in that big-ass castle. Which, which highlights one of the big problems with uh, Mando in terms of its place in Star Wars is you don't really get a good sense of like what people do. Yeah. Other than when Mando shows up in their lives, you know? Yeah, it's they like they don't exist for a while, and then he shows up, and then it's like, oh, we're here now. I guess they kind of tried to do that with Navarro a little bit, and uh, Carl Weathers, but yeah. Because that's why everyone compares it with video games, right? But even in uh, something like, a lot of modern games, Ragnarok did this, where if you stand and just wait, characters will be on a cycle of some kind, like playing around with something, moving over there, sitting down, they get back up, they move over there. And then uh, maybe the cycle ends with them walking in a room and the door closes and you can't see what they're doing. Just to make it feel yeah. a little bit more live, even to the point where if you stay around long enough, you might get some secret dialogue that you didn't know yeah. was actually there. Yeah, um, a yeah. few games have done that. Grand Theft Auto and Red Dead Redemption in particular works really hard to make it seem like everybody's got their own things going on. You know, it feels like people lead lives beyond just his uh, influence on theirs. Well, meanwhile here, they have real people. <laughs> and <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she's like... Well, she's just in there. I guess that's the point, right? Oh, well, they all left me. So what's what what's a girl to do except sit here and do nothing? Stone chair in my stone <laughs> what is a girl to do? Like... Seriously, I have no fucking idea. <laughs> what do <laughs> Please I Please tell me. I need instructions. Like, all the people like, that followed follow me you... just went aw went away, so I'm just gonna sit here with Yeah, that was droid. pathetic, because we never saw those people, but they were there the whole time, apparently waiting, and then she said, yeah, no, no likelihood on that sword, and they were like, oh. Bye. I'd see a bo -Katan. Shouldn't they be following Mando? I yes, well, no, because he's think. not he's not a really true Mandalorian. But he's so they, they just have no leader. I thought that the whole point was that because he got the sword, he was the leader. Well, In fact, bo -Katan, bo -Katan said wave that around and they'll do whatever you say. So bo -Katan yeah. believes that he can lead them. Yeah, and if but that's does true, she know that he's not a Mandalorian at that yeah, point. Yeah, she knows all of that shit. She thinks that he's uh... part of like oh we'll remember Rags that her Mandalorians don't believe in that helmet stuff. <laughs> they don't give a shit. Uh, about they that. believe in the sword stuff. Was, but I guess everyone yeah. kind of believes in the sword well, stuff. Well, I think theirs was different, right? It was that they, because he's not from Mandalore. He's from the Mandalore system, but he's not from the planet. He was from that moon, which mm. I, don't, I don't know what bearing that has on anything. Like, Maybe he's not <laughs> from either of them, in that he was saved on some planet when the CIS invaded. And then he was oh, taken in. Oh, is that in. what I meant to... Yeah, he so... was taken in by Mandalorians. And okay. Grew up on has the that moon ever been then. factored in? That he was... I, maybe it has. I, I, just, I thought it like, was a critical remember. plot point in, like, season one that he wasn't actually, like, from Mandalore. Yeah. That, that he was rescued by the Mandalorians. He's just like a Randy on some planet attacked. that got ravaged by uh, the yeah. CIS. Yeah. Because Mandalorians can be from anywhere, but they've got to take the creed or whatever the fuck. And not get Which eaten by a big alligator. Yeah. That's right. Big mythosaur. Get and they right. got to fight and no, no, not the, it. No, not the Oh, mythosaur. the big I mean, alligator, the alli right. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, the other big creature <laughs> the that attacked them. Not to be confused with the giant worm on Tatooine. Yes. We've had a lot of giant creatures that lurk underneath fluids. Or oh, remember, fluid -like there was a giant things. creature in 
in the premiere episode when he captured that blue guy and when they got on the ship they got there attacked was. by something under the ice. Right. What do they eat to sustain this? Crazy. I guess we do for some crazy army of robots or more stormtroopers. I guess. Uh well, we we need an because we only got one action scene last episode, so we are we're bound for like three. There's going to be three. Mandalorians believing their planet is destroyed without checking if that's true, despite having the resources, is like that one Monty Python skit where the guy isn't actually dead. Not dead yet. <laughs> <laughs> but he's not dead yet. Oh, he's almost there. <laughs> he's almost there. I, I can't believe they actually did that. Yeah, all those Mandalorians, none of them checked. And what, and what was the throwaway like... line? Like, oh, it's a lie spread by the Empire to keep us in exile or something. It's like, oh... <laughs> It's One a planet. You can go check. Yeah, yeah. Boca Town. You live like right next to it. Go have a little. little like, you, you have nothing else to do. You literally I mean, you have nothing else to do. I mean, if you're in the same system, you could look up in the sky and see it, right? I mean, you could well, visually see that just it, look at yeah, it. Yeah, and so you'd be like, we may as well just go for a little, get a telescope. Yeah, maybe we can see. Let's go check. Yeah, There's a little jump over there. Right. It's Star Wars. We got spaceships. Let's go. And then they're like, no, check. we don't have an R5 unit or whatever. So <laughs> not, sorry. We need a specific of Navara. Make money and then purchase one, perhaps, no. from one of the vendors who would gladly exchange it for currency. I need this robot because it's the only one I trust. That should no longer be the case after it tries to kill him. Yep. <laughs> That's a lot to yeah. be said about the decisions that he made there. Yeah, let me point that out as well. Was there anyone that has the potential to want to kill him personally and Baby Yoda yeah. personally in the universe? The rest yeah, of them are like the worst. They, That's not a factory setting. <laughs> they even highlight that. They're like, oh, must be down to its default programming. You're like, yeah. Yeah, how about that? Yeah, maybe you should get another robot. Like, you will. Yeah, that's right. Like it's so did, stupid because it? he goes like, oh, now we destroyed the thing. We need a new memory stake or whatever it was. And it's like, well, then you can just get another robot because it's a different one. It's not going to know you. No, it needs to be an IG unit until it doesn't. The specific robot that cured him of his robophobia was this um, yeah. was this specific unit that protected him or whatever in that stupid action scene from the first uh, season finale. And now this specific robot is trying to kill him and Baby Yoda, and that's the last thing that happened, which you think would call into question his relatively newfound trust in robots. Yeah, you might even say it might make him more jaded again. Like, you know what? These fucking things, I knew it. I was right. But no. No, 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 no. We like robots now. Okay, here we go. Andor. Two people die. The whole story is triggered by this. Mando. Four people die because they wanted to drink at a bar, which is a school now. <laughs> <laughs> kind of highlights the uh, the disparity and the gravity of uh, the, the events that take place uh, in these shows, doesn't it? These fucking yeah. guys, it's like, no, I want to drink here. They need like, to drink at the school, like, they hate it. Even though there's no alcohol and there's no, this is <laughs> nothing there. It's not a bar actually for you. Used. The building is not fit for the purpose that you want to use it for. But I they're don't just, it's just <laughs> We made a new it's bar. A principle I remember the principal was bullshit. It was like, oh, your cut of what we got from that score built this. It's like, yeah, his cut, you idiot. He can do whatever he wants with it. It's his money. <laughs> what exactly is the principal that I have to drink alcohol specifically at this address? Logistically, That's a it must be this set of these walls. <laughs> <laughs> it has like, to be. Okay. If you're really holding firm to that principle and you're going to like fight and die over well, it. Uh, but I mean, it's going to, he's just going to be a minor villain throughout the season because we haven't seen those fellas since episode one. Oh, I wonder yeah, if they're the going to turn Lord. up soon enough. Or maybe, oh, maybe yeah. minor villain in this case means they show up once and then they show up again and they die and that's it. Maybe I'm giving it too much credit for like what a minor villain would actually yeah. look like. But yeah, yes, yeah. the comment highlights the uh, the difference in the stakes of the show quite well. Yeah. And remember, um, Andor kills those two people. The following day, he gets his alibi set. He gets access to as many resources as he can. He tries to sell his big like golden egg sort of the thing for as much money as he can and get a clean up the records of where his ship has been and get access to a new ship or at least one that he can use that's clean as well. Like that's what the episode yeah. is while we meet all these new characters and we see the bureaucracy side start to trickle in from those deaths. Like, is there even a point in comparing? If you told me this is a world with the same stakes and like repercussions as Andor, and there's a some some planet that's kind of distant, has some guy who's decided to lead it, and he killed five pirates on it with a guy who was visiting, I'd be like, so he's dead then? Like, <laughs> there's no way he's getting out of that. The pirates will probably find a way to land... Somewhere. They're going to kill him, basically, Grief Karga. He's doomed. Um, but it's like, uh, no, he'll be well, fine. Especially because he even explicitly said that he doesn't want to be uh, under the heel of the uh, New Republic. 
Yeah. So it's like, oh, well, I guess you got to deal with those problems on your own. And all we're left to conclude is, well, oh, I guess he does. If not for Mando being there, he would have That's right. He would have uh, been screwed because what does Navarro's local law enforcement even look like? It seems it's to him. just be him. <laughs> it's him. Whenever someone <laughs> has a problem that requires They go to him force, specifically. They go to the mayor's office to the mayor and the mayor pulls out his gun and he shoots the problem. <laughs> he shoots the problem. Shoots, yeah. Is it even worth mentioning that Bo-Katan was a terrorist slash war criminal who dethroned her own sister in order to drag Mandalore into the Clone Wars. Seriously, she is probably the most responsible for Mandalore's destruction. If she and the Death Watch clan didn't try to overthrow Duchess Satine with Darth Maul's help, then Mandalore and the several thousand other worlds under Mandalore would still have been neutral in the war, and the Republic slash Empire wouldn't have uh, any way of invading legally. Keep in mind, Satine kept Mandalore neutral and brought about peace. Death Watch, and by extension Bo-Katan, led their home to war and subsequent ruin. That's oh, very well, how come, how come none of this has uh, been mentioned in the show? <laughs> especially considering like, uh, that this was uh, Dave Filoni's creation, mm -hmm. the Clone Wars. Oh, that's so, like, right. He, he would have created all of that, and he's the executive producer Let's of this Let's put it show. this way. If I were in charge of writing season three, and they tell me Bo-Katan's going to be a main character with Mando, I, I would then watch, obviously, all of the shit that involves her in that's canon. And I'd see all this and be like, oh, we're using this. This, this is... You have to use this. This will be big. I don't understand how this is just... <laughs> like we, you wouldn't even know. Is this, this a case happened. where, uh, is this just a case where they don't realize that that's the case? I don't know. Like the writers don't even realize that Bo Katan is on the hook for these consequences. Yeah, it, it's just another classic case of we just sort of forget histories and move on without looking back, or we don't really address people's, you know, character through their actions, and it's never brought up. Um, because yeah, of course, this would have incredible consequences when discussing mm -hmm. the. Who's the real Mandalorians? Who's the best Mandalorians? How come Mandalore's in the state it's in? No one ever like calls her out for it or mentions it or says anything about it, and people still follow her, and I don't know why. And I don't know, I get what what happened to those other Mandalorians before that we met from the first time in season two. Where'd they go? I forget. Did they go to They're do gone. something? They they left. Uh... Oh, okay. I forget what happened to him. I, mean, I don't know maybe to where, but they left. Line. Yeah, I just don't. I remember just can't all that. Remember, I just be remember all that care. Beskar that the Stormtroopers and Empire didn't even use? Mm, it was in Navarro. Yeah. Remember that? Oh, it can come up at any moment. That shit would be see. worth <laughs> so much money. I can't even begin to like estimate. Wait, it's yeah, probably it's still insane. at and Navarro. It's a massive We're still pile. It probably below. No, that's yeah, I mean, uh, that's what Grief Karga used to revet renovate the whole place. <laughs> he sold all of the fucking armor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, the blacksmith is like, where is it? And he's like, oh, I don't know. I don't know. It got washed away or something. Tell you, the Empire, yeah. the Empire took it when I left. Oh they my god, yeah, that's how they made those. Yeah. Oh, you mean the new Republic rags? The new. Oh right, the Empire still kind of exists. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they, they had the secret <laughs> base on Navarro. Yeah, and that's right. The stormtroopers took it, and that one guy, what's his face? Oh, the, Gideon. The bad guy from Gideon, Moff Gideon. He took it, and he'd send it someplace. And I don't. Yeah, know I hope he is. comes back and does evilness things. Mandalorians in most Star Wars media. I'm an elite warrior trained in the art of warfare. I don't care if I win, lose, or even die. I live for the thrill of the battle and the honor of Mandalore. Mandalorian's in the goddamn Mandalorian. I shoot grapple a big lizard because it's one of my abilities. <laughs> Wee! Oh, I died. <laughs> <sighs> that's the yeah, thing. The, way they, the they more fight. you see of them, the more you're like, ugh. It's like, Wait oh, a that's like a whole group of Mandalorians. They should fuck shit up, like, easily. And then I go like, I'm gonna pull on that big monster <laughs> with my hands. Oh, jeez. Like, oh, no, it didn't wake up. Oh, oh God. Ah, it, Where? Ate, it ate me. Damn it. The space quits are, unfortunately, a Rebels thing. Oh, wait, that was, that was a show, right? Rebels? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, if I remember right, they were added in the final season specifically to send Thrawn and Ezra, the main character of that show, away. Since Disney has no reason to show the squids other than as foreshadowing of the return of Thrawn, a character that people care about, or Ezra, a guy, I imagine we'll be seeing that this season. Or it'll be a teaser at the end. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm. It is, there, some creatures are far more easy to believe than others. And when we talk about the huge monstrous creatures, the massive ones that live in these like barren areas where there's no food, that's really, really pushing my ability to believe that yeah. these creatures could be real, right? They're um, cool though. But yeah, they're really cool. They're uh, when we have, remember the season two episode, like 
one or two. I think it was two. They had those creepy ass spiders in the cave. I remember those them. things yeah. were like terrifying, and I could believe that those exist because they're like spiders and everything. And there's a bunch of little ones. Like, okay, that's really creepy. But I just I don't know if I can believe. Like, it's it's really really straining my ability to believe that you have these creatures that live inside of like hyperspace tunnels. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Uh, and and like the, like these big squid whale things, and they I I just that's that one's tough for me. That one's really really. But tough. what if it leads to the return of characters such as Ezra and Thrawn? I've heard of one of these characters. Thrawn seems to be a beloved character, but I just, I mean, I don't, I don't really have any interest or investment myself. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. I still can't believe the entire conflict of the first episode was that some guy wasn't allowed to drink in a school. <laughs> oh yeah. See, Disney's taking a hard stance on uh, <laughs> drinking in schools. They just want to let everyone know where just they, where they fall the on it. Is that better or worse? Old days as a renegade student. It's like, ha, I'm drinking in school. <laughs> So cool. Is that better or worse than the drama of the second episode being he slipped in the bath? Oh, uh... <sighs> that one is special. I think special the drama of the slipping in the bath was bigger because Mando's a protagonist, I guess, and so is Bo-Katan for a, a little bit. She's been a lot in a lot of episodes, and it was supposed to be like an important moment for him. Mm -hmm. And the guys at the bar, like, we knew they were going to fucking die. We knew that no one, nothing was going to happen. All of our protagonists would be fine. There wouldn't be any impact really whatsoever. And it's just, like, as silly as it is to slip in a bath, like, that's a thing that happens. <laughs> I don't know how many people are willing to fight and die in gunfights so that they could drink in a school building. <laughs> That's just silly. I'm honestly baffled you missed the greatest, smartest, best written, most practical and poetic line. Quote, a Mandalorian has to understand maps and know their way around. That way you'll never be lost. That's next level quality writing. Hemingway pales in comparison. I was curious after I saw this and I checked. That is a line. He says it to Grogu. A Mandalorian has to understand maps and know their way around. That way, you'll never be lost. We all miss oh, it, I guess, because we're talking, but... Oh, man. Mandalorian has to know how to read maps or else he'll get lost. Is it... Yeah? Yeah, right. I guess. Does Grogu um, understand English? I still don't know. Like... I don't <laughs> think so. I, I would assume that if Grogu could understand English, or basic, whatever they call it, that he would like act differently, but he sort of like he th he flew all the way back to the ship and sort of like got help for him in the second episode. But other times he just doesn't seem to react in any way. But I guess he kind of does. Like I don't know if like does does John understand Garfield? Does Garfield speak aloud or does he not? Garfield you has know? thought bubbles, right? He has thought bubbles, but is that just his way of you know communicating, or is like you know like I don't know. Uh, rags. Was I happy when his ship got destroyed? And then passed Rags in the clip. Yes, fuck yeah! So, <laughs> that was because, I think, we were all tired of the Razor Crest, like, surviving when it should be destroyed at every other yeah, turn. Yeah, Gosh. it was absurdly um, plot durable. Armored. Yeah, it had incredible plot armor, and it seemed to be used a bit too inconveniently, or used not at all like um the fourth episode in the first season when he had to destroy the atst and he just like the episode conveniently forgets and omits that he has a starship capable of destroying fighters in a single shot yeah that just doesn't come up in the episode because this Until... is a very very poorly written show is it um, like at the end they remember it or whatever no oh <laughs> he, no. that, that that's a mystery episode i still don't really know what happened but now we pine for the razor crest because it just made sense that he would have it we took it for yeah. granted Yes, we, we took did. it for granted that something would just make some gosh darn sense. Mando, go get bo <laughs> to Grogu. Grogu shows back up with bo -Katarn. Mando, bo how did you get here? Fucking great word writing. <laughs> oh yeah, he does ask that. I remember that. Oh my goodness. I didn't actually <laughs> expect the infant to do this. Yeah, he's just, just like, I just like... figured you'd die or whatever. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. was just like winging a prayer. <laughs> Funny thing about Mando sinking faster than rocket boosted bo <laughs> is that it finally proves Mando is the densest thing in the entire galaxy. Otherwise, <laughs> he wouldn't have sunk that quickly. Oh my also, God. this is the second time Mando takes off his jetpack so that he can't do something. Though in uh, this case, it's even shown that bo jetpack has no issues with water at all. Though they show that in season two as well so i'm not sure if uh she has the super waterproof version of uh or uh all mandalorian jetpacks are like that yeah i think the, the big part is the density thing yeah she was jetting down 
Yeah. And she couldn't catch up. And she jumped in pretty quickly <laughs> after him. How many times have we seen Mando interact with water with a jetpack? Season two has the sort of watery planet that he lands on and meets Bo-Katan, but I don't think it interacts with him. He got put in like a net or something, right? He got put in a like container that was filled with water in the middle of the ship and then got locked in. But that was that was about it. I guess I'm okay with it working underwater as long as we're consistent about it working or maybe it's less effective. But depending, I guess, on how it's designed, I suppose it could work underwater. So at that point, you took the jetpack off just for, like, cultural reasons, not for... because That would I be guess. my guess. Yeah, that I guess would, so. That's what I assumed. bo I honestly think that it's adorable that you actually believe these children's stories. Says a woman that lost her followers because she didn't have a black glowy sword they re revered because of a stupid... of stupid tradition. Yeah, well, that's true, different. but the more that's relevant cool. part is, I can't believe you believe in magic in the Star Wars universe. Yeah, you silly Where the Force you, exists and also goober. actual magic. Well, yeah, because the Night Sisters were introduced in the show that she was introduced in, right? I don't know how well known they are, but people know about Jedi. Part I mean, the Mandalorians definitely do, and they could use the Jedi, Force, that's which is magic. Like magic. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so, I don't know why she would say this. Is it literally, that it's not about whether or not she believes magic is a thing, it's just that it comes across as idiotic to her that you have to keep your mask on for no reason. It's not like the the blacksmith lady would say it's magic or anything. She would just say like that's that's our well the blacksmith. Culture. I presume that the fact that it is magic is what they ascribe value to. That's my guess. I just mean that it's built into that whatever culture they have anyway. It wouldn't matter if it were magic or not. I guess what I'm saying it's what you have to do. It's written. I get. I get what you mean. I guess what I'm saying is that the impression that I get is that there's almost like that Mando was appealing to a more transcendental quality to, like, bathing in the living waters beyond, like, principles that they've constructed because of the fact that it yeah. has actual magical properties, if you get what I mean. If I, um, said, you know, like, as part of my religion, I need to pray to a clock, like, that's just something I have to do. And then if she was like, that's just fucking dumb, that's not going to do anything for you, really. I, it would be like, oh, yeah, but those are just my rules, like, my book. Um... Uh, oh, yeah, but I guess all I'd say to Bo-Katan is, like, how about you chill out then, maybe? Well, <laughs> like... yeah, she's she's an edgy atheist or whatever, but the, 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 like, that's, I guess that's, I guess that's it. That's thinking, that's at the yeah. core. It's like, how can she be this aggressive about it when she has her own bullshit? But then again, her own thing where she maybe... believes that if you have the sword, you actually have a right to, like, lead all of the people on your planet. Maybe that's how she's more real than we realize. That maybe. She I'm sure the people we'll without that. realizing her own shit is stinky. Is, oh, no. you think that's what they're actually trying to <laughs> Maybe I, I don't know if I want to give him that kind of credit. No, I, I'm just saying that we can draw that out of it. So you're telling me that after all these years, no Mandalorian thought to check if their planet was sustainable or breathable? Uh, no, yes. because it's cursed. So don't it's think cursed. about it. And glassed over. And apparently it was like propaganda. We... So they heard it from what the Empire, the crushed Empire. You didn't want, wouldn't want to verify information this incredibly important. Yeah. It's like I don't know if I heard from everyone that you know maybe I I took a vacation and then on the way back everyone's like oh your helm got hit by a meteor it's not there anymore uh, there's no more house for you to go to I I think I'd check I think I'd go there especially even if, if it was said to be poisoned street, I'd obviously uh, get in a, a a position where I'm safe and healthy like in a ship that's sealed or whatever but I'd still be like yeah. it's my fucking ancestral home yeah I need to see what kind of poison you know is it is it really bad poison or is it just not good poison or is there a way to counteract it is what what can we do we're gonna have to live in domes you know what's going on here let's check it out especially if you have technology to probe because I'm pretty sure Star Wars well, it, has it, it, probe droids or whatever you probably you want, want one of them, them to not only put them in there verify that it's poisoned or whatever but to also just check the poison levels over time see if they're going down there's so many Mandalorians I just don't believe none of them just even tried even if it was a suicide mission I just don't believe that they just that. hang out in caves they just sit around yeah. all they crocodile. do is they just sit around in caves or underground and it's so shit we are all glossing over the fact that this episode did the same thing that happened in the Book of Boba Fett. Din uh, came to buy a specific item. The mechanist tells him uh, she doesn't have it, but that she can sell him a junk replacement. Din does not need him. And after uh, short convincing, Jin forgets he ever wanted what he actually came for. That is what happened with the I know, stuff yeah. Right. Oh, yeah, because he wanted to basically get a ship that was like the Razor Crest, but mm. then she convinced him into buying a ship the that first just thing that was suggested, yeah. any utility to him as a And it was broken. Really. He had to fix it. And it's broken. Right. He had to fix it with her. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> this air may be unbreathable. I'll pressurize my helmet so I can survive this inhospitable environment. Almost drowns in a small pond. Laugh my ass off. Now, to be <laughs> fair, it's not, it's not a small pond, but... You know what? It's, calling it a small pond makes it sound funnier. Yes, that's why it's okay. <laughs> so, 
<laughs> so I'll I'll allow it. Don't let the truth get in the way of a good story. Okay? Also, the funny part about this is that he probably did pressurize his helmet, question mark. Remember? This is something that we didn't really talk about because it's very confusing in terms of references, right? He goes down, she brings him back up, she doesn't perform like any kind of CPR on him, and then he eventually goes, bleh, 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 I'm okay. Yeah. Just like, so what happened? Like, uh, did he bang his head? Did he pressurize the helmet and then bang his head? Because what's his plan to actually bathe in the living waters and continue a speech and go like, and let the <laughs> and then get back up? It's like, all That's right, thing cool. He said, I said it under there. He said he like misstepped or something. He like, uh, <laughs> yeah. didn't realize the whole gave way. <laughs> he tripped and fell, guys. <laughs> yes. Well, yeah, I guess yeah, that yeah. best guy. Well, is the I, best guy heavy or not, though? I figure it's light. I figure that that's what was the point of it, yeah. Light and very resilient. Because if it's heavy, that just makes your life a lot harder. But, and then we come back to yeah. why did he sink so fast? What the hell? <laughs> why did he sink so fast when Bo-Katan, also wearing Mando armor and using a jetpack to propel herself through the water? Yeah, she has to be going faster than him, but... Yeah, oh, but she, I, that's just a good old fashioned fuck up, is what that is. They just mm -hmm. didn't realize for some reason. Yeah. And so closes Comment Showcase comment for episodes showcase. one and two. Yay. Yay. We'll do three and four okay. next time, and then we'll be, will we be caught up by then? Oh, no, because this is four. Right, so, yeah. Okay, we'll catch up eventually, guys. Don't you worry. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, with this episode, uh, I'm actually a little excited for it because, and I was talking with them. Um, uh, Gary and Az about this. Finally, for the first time in the entire series, we actually have to change the goal of main character because we haven't gotten anymore. Oh my god. Think about it. Well, this episode right, yeah. was bounty hunting, and as soon as that led to Baby Yoda, it's been Baby Yoda up till the end of season two, and then we reset to having. It was like, what was he doing? He was trying to find Baby Yoda's home. That's what he was doing in season. Uh, one and two, and then yes. protected him from the it Empire, is? and then Luke, and it's like, yeah, he did it, so now what? We saw him bounty hunting for an episode in Boba Fett, and then Luke was like, yeah, fucking baby, won't listen to me, you have him. And then he literally, like, <laughs> sent him back on uh, the ship. Remember R2-D2 delivered the baby? Right. Because yeah. yeah, 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 Luke yeah, yeah. couldn't be fucked. Next, t next time a student doesn't listen to me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill him in their sleep. I don't know, I might. <laughs> oh no! Yeah, it's foreshadowing. Scene. But anyway, so the Mandalorian's like, "Oh well, I'm back with the baby, and I've lost my uh, my honor or whatever. I need to go get it back." And it's like, "Okay, now you've got it back. So now, what is your mission? Because you've got the Bobby, you've got your stupid creed. Now what? You gonna bounty hunt? You gonna find another adventure? Is something randomly gonna happen that's gonna give him a new quest? Because we've got nothing. We've literally got no narrative yeah. thrust at all, and we have no characters." Which honestly makes it one of the most fucking abysmal things to watch in history, and yet they managed to make me laugh a lot, so. I think we watched uh, the trailer, and there were lightsabers in it, right? Oh, oh god. Fuck. Yeah, because we're gonna find out, hopefully, because I am, oh god, I'm so excited to find out the history behind uh, more, maybe more from Mando's life and more from uh, Baby Yoda's life. We Remember, they baited it in uh, Book of Boba Fett, was it? Or Mando Season 2? That Baby Yoda was in the temple as all the Jedi were being slaughtered. We didn't get anything else on that, did we? Oh, we're just gonna get like flashback episodes the rest of the season. Well, I was gonna say <laughs> we've got no, we've got no thrust, so something's Definitely. gonna happen, and that's why I honestly I'm a little oh, like God. interested in this episode. I don't know what we, this will set up. What we're gonna get next, surely? Dinjarin, you are redeemed, and Bo-Katan Kreese, you too are redeemed. It would have been so Chad of her to take the helmet off here and now, be like, yeah, no, actually, <laughs> yeah, well, maybe I don't well, want. Yeah, because she she doesn't care about all of this. She's doing the thing where someone's like, you're part of the club now, and you're like, oh, oh, okay, yeah, okay, yeah. Well, I guess I don't have my castle anymore. Or Until my face me, itches, might as I will well chill remain. out here. <laughs> like at any week, my entire life can completely change its direction and path and goals, but whatever. As soon as she needs to sneeze, she's like, fuck this clan, takes it off, goes, <laughs> yeah. You guys have a sneezing room? How do they deal There's with that? that we're allowed to, <laughs> you shove know. your hand up there and hope you kind of clean it up. <laughs> like... It's insane how many impracticalities you have to endure because of that. Oh god, we... no. Look oh, for the alligator. Going on? Is this Are we Mando just... training? Oh. Look how wonky that little thruster is. I can't believe they're all in these. They're all in their armor. In the helmets. Their oh fire my is god. Bad. They're they fire at each, each other. other. They'll like light your capes on fire, right? What are they shooting at? So really the only... Re why? They're just shooting water. No, you're you're gonna... shooting water. There's nothing to what? test. While you've got people flying around on their jetpacks. This what are they seems testing? very unsafe. These rockets cost... Are like, they testing their fucking money, trigger yeah. finger? What? What's the point of shooting at water? What does it do? What are you learning? 
I was like, I guess the alligator is, is gone, I guess. I guess they got rid of or that. Or he's dead. Oh, yeah, the corpse. They would have, that probably would have taken some time to clear yeah. off. Yeah, it's all blowed up and exploded. Oh, unless they got Mando's rifle, one shot to it would vaporize the whole thing, right? It's a Kermit crab. Oh, yeah, the rifle that he hasn't used for, like, two years at this point. Yep. Is really, like, yeah. a terrifying hermit crab or a nice hermit crab? Oh, he looks nice. Oh, he's scared. Yeah, he's afraid of this devil creature. I remember, Baby Yoda's eaten babies before. It's time that you learn with the other foundlings. Learn what? What do you learn? What? That's a penis. You don't understand That's a penis. Why does everybody treat thing. Baby Yoda like he's a young adult or something? Is that CGI water? I was about to say. Oh, yeah. it's because they're crabs. Yeah, the way it's yeah. hitting the beach it is. Next challenger. Are you fucking What's happening? Me? What are you doing? <laughs> uh, I thought what was he meant to do? Bro, Baby Yoda oh, escaped Luke after his abuse, so now you're gonna make him go into a fucking like fight. I just want the kid to just kick Rogo across the yeah. fucking beach. <laughs> Imagine being the loser with that green the, helmet well, or the lime like, green shoulder. On the, on the one hand, it feels unfair to both of them because either you've got this kid beating the shit out of Baby Yoda, or Baby Yoda's yeah. gonna use the force on that kid. Yeah. <laughs> it's like in both ways it's unfair. What weapon? Let the challenge decide. What? What? Darts. Darts? Darts? You're gonna get Rain Baby Yoda to throw darts at this kid. No, he's gonna like what stop him What is this show anymore? <laughs> he's gonna what stop him with a force and everyone's gonna freak out because he's a Jedi and that's like a thing they have. Dude, too young to wear a helmet. What does a helmet look like on Baby Yoda? It'll fuck up his ears. <laughs> the, well, it'll be like you gotta, you gotta build the ears into it, right? <laughs> the training darts. Training darts. Training darts. <laughs> Fighters, arm yourselves. What are we doing? <laughs> yeah, Ben, you to arm yourself here. <laughs> do we throw darts? I know what. We... <sighs> this is an irresponsible father. What are we fucking doing? Like, you're strapping <laughs> darts. You take it easy on him, kid. Do you understand what we're saying to you? Does he even understand what's going on? Each has three darts. You may fire. The well, you know how these things board. go, right? He's gonna. Not be impressive, not be impressive, works. not be impressive, not be impressive, and suddenly impressive. incredibly impressive, yeah. yeah. How do you activate those stars? It's just a leather strap. A, you yeah, you go boom boom. Or you say... Oh, uh, there you go. It's not attached Squeeze to your the... fist. Squeeze your fist. <sighs> That's it's not gonna not do anything. No. It's not even... You're right. It's not even connected to him properly. They just fluked it on. Begin! Okay. Don't stop. Keep going. Yeah, get your three boom, points. Boom. boom, boom, boom. Begin! Point! Why isn't he firing more? Grogu. I've seen what you can do. Not no, not like this. When have you seen him shoot like darts or shit at people? No, quickly lift up the child with the force and toss him somewhere. Uh, he'll do a crazy jump or something. He's about to win, yeah. This yeah. is music. Yep, see? No, crazy there jump. You go. Oh, it looks bad. What the uh, fuck? <laughs> so yeah, that looks really bad. So he's allowed to do three in one, uh, in one yeah, go. Um, why didn't the other guy? Idiot. That's not... Why... Or was that just the kid being a good sport, letting him have lots of opportunities to I win? I don't even know. I don't know. He's just an idiot. What was all of that? There you go, kid. You've learned things, I guess. All right, there you go. We've done a fifth of the episode. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> don't tell me the crocodile's coming back. Oh, oh no! Oh, <laughs> my God. Oh, no. Look out. <laughs> Suddenly a monster. <laughs> oh, shit. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Your snack. It's just a dragon. Uh, <laughs> it's the child. Guys, maybe we should chill out on a different planet at this point. Well, why do we pick maybe go to another cave or something. What the fuck? Oh man, the it's that child, the kidnapping dragon away. is here. I was just thinking, this thing is fast. fast. Yeah. No way they could keep up bad. with this. I'd say the jetpack, surely he's faster. Well, that's what I'm saying, for what we're seeing, the dragon's just gonna fucking outclass him. Look at that. How is it moving so fast? Oh my god. We're gonna go! I had to do a swipe because we've moved so far. Wait. Oh. Oh, he's out of fuel. Oh, so he's stuck then, isn't wow, he? Wow, do we ever see <laughs> them run out of fuel? <laughs> You gotta so. walk back. You oh, and he's out of fuel. Damn. Yeah, they got you know how much fuel they have, those idiots? They have to walk. Oh, that momentum change, you see that? Yeah, yeah. that was great. Oh, wait, oh and Mando's out. out. Now we can't fly back. I'm out of fuel. Oh, we're yeah, fucked. I can see that. It always gets away. It always gets away? Oh, the child snatcher always it? gets away. Oh, bo oh, the thought. only smart well, person here. Yeah, I was about to say, that's probably the smart move. So if this thing regularly comes by and abducts children, it always why don't you have like someone look at how Man. many kids are dying? Dude, Mandalorians suck! Yeah. Nice. What? Like a critter could just fly in and grab Is that one? seriously gonna be the I... fucking crux of this episode, is saving this kid from the stupid yeah. kidnapper? 
They've wasted. They, uh, give me his next quest. Don't tell me she's oh, saving the kid. Oh, back. Uh, why? Oh, Wait, how are they okay. here? They. I wish. What? What? Did she pick them all up on the way back? But then she would have spoken to them already. What the fuck? The Logistically speaking, how is everybody all here now? Uh, they walked very fast. She I came she back, them... gave him some fuel, and then. Well, no, because uh, she came no, back yeah, and she... Mando was there with them. So yeah. Yeah. he must have walked, walked back. back so they all walked back, and then she the drove back, and then they had a chat. And they still believe the child is alive now. It would kill the child. It's gonna kill Why the would child it kill the child like it's taking hostages? It's an animal. It's probably eaten the kid now. Yeah, I was gonna say, you guys are taking too long. The kid's dead. Let me guess. This creature is immune to blasters too, by the way. Ooh, shocker. I bet the hermit crabs are completely blaster-proof. It just bounces right <laughs> like, off them. You are too young to join them. All in good time. This is what's happening in this episode, is this yep. is the drama. A dragon comes along and grabs the yep. kid, and now they gotta rescue the kid from the dragon. You know, I like how they, all the I like how they say... They say, like, oh, all in due time. You're all gonna be dead when you start oh, talking. Look at, look, at, look at him walking. <laughs> you are correct, Battle. By the time so, Baby Yoda's yeah. a teenager, all of these people will be dead of old age. Why did they not even attempt to make the Mandalorian armor, like, kind of match? It's just random pieces that are random colors. And some of them are, like, lime green and, like, mint. And it's like, what are we doing? Why are they not, like, differently colored? How come they don't have patterns to distinguish people from one another? Well, they haven't gotten to the shadiest part of the, uh, the skill tree. We are extending every last pause and movement to get this episode yep. to the time. Wait, what's the heart of Mandalorian culture? The Beskar? The yeah. Forge. Oh, the oh. Forge. Hey, there's, like, this whole planet has a lot of Beskar. You might want to go there for the Forge Is he gonna get, like, a, a hat or a helmet? Oh, she making something for Grogu now? I guess. I don't know, maybe just doing some random shit. <laughs> I was like, like the, the best car was really precious and stuff. But... Why don't you only have the one up? You only have Wait, a used yeah. one. <laughs> it really annoys me too. This is such a waste. Turn the rest off, dude. <laughs> Look, she even leaves the fucking flames on when she's not using them. I hate it. See, if the Mandalorians were really cool, it could be interesting to explore the notion that Baby Yoda's oh. uh, innocence is getting worn away just through like, you know, adversity. Look, how is he gonna do with that? No, but uh, Battle of right, War, well, it's okay, fun. So I guess not. Lightsabers are free. Look, there's a green one. Yeah, two green I ones. see. I was about to think about oh, what clone we troopers. do with character, but oh. yeah. Get the young to Kellerin, go! <laughs> Wait, how did they miss the wow, baby? Wow, missed all those shots. Are you sure these guys won the Clone Wars? Everything's gonna be all right, kid. Hello. Who this? Hey, Tamara Morrison's voice. I fucking hate Star Wars. <laughs> See, this this is back to Favreau Star Wars, where it's just like, you guys like it when lightsabers and clone troopers and stuff. God, is it just me, or does he look like he's very much on a green screen? Like, it didn't look oh, real. Oh, yeah, he's not, he's not here at all. You know what I mean? Like, actually on that booth. We haven't got anything yet. Who is this guy? I believe that the guy who's playing him played uh, Jar Jar Binks. For real? Oh, <laughs> I think so. I think so. Oh, that's neat. That's cool. <laughs> Now that is neat. Be, uh, uh, a, a not as a, a lesser hero, but you know. Hey, Jar Jar got all this started, okay? <laughs> Jar Jar had started the Clone Wars, kind of, sort of, but you know. Emergency power to the Supreme Chancellor. I don't know, man. He could be Rogo talking to be Baby like Yoda and telling him who he is and what the plan is or whatever. Instead, we're just going to be doing. Like, well, we need to have another action down. Down. You oh, can do geez. character as well. Think of all the dead civilians from like all these blaster shots yeah. being fired through the city. Well, yeah, because I thought that the whole point of it all <laughs> happening in the temple was that you could kind of cover up what happened. But like this... Yeah. Did the LAAT oh, well, not know this was a train place? Oh, did that kill a lot of people on that train? <laughs> yeah. Presumably, yeah. Oh, we're yeah. back here. Small well, it's, it's a small place, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, it's only a planet-spanning city. We're gonna meet up with some friends of mine, but hold on, it's gonna be a bumpy landing. Why not just use Ooh, your brain? Wow. Did you need to do that? Oh, I know that the engine was shot, but... He foot there to, uh, to <laughs> slide down. The... They're right behind me. What about the others? There are no others. Go, 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 go. It's a fucking LAT, be... go! What are the, what are also, guys, you guys had guys. the absolute advantage there. You could have shot the fuck you out did. of them. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, why didn't they just use the cannons of the uh, the landing ship? You're not leaving these it, guys behind, are you? Dude, seriously, they should have seen that coming ages away. Oh, 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 oh they, they are getting yeah, left behind. Well, bye. Oh, okay, bye. They didn't run into the ship or anything. Thanks, but wow, everybody is so desperate to keep Baby Yoda alive. What is the deal? Is he the chosen one? 
Will he bring, oh, bring balance to the fall? <laughs> that took up a decent chunk of episode. Now to go save the kid, I guess. Oh god, it sucks. We didn't learn anything. No. Nothing for character. We didn't learn anything about that new Jedi other than standard Jedi what I mean. trying to yeah. help people. It's, it's an you know? art what they do. They manage to show all these events and they give us nothing. It it's is kind of incredible how little we accomplished with the time that we had. Because, I mean, that was like a solid five minutes there, wasn't it? I mean, that's plenty of time. Just Grogu having a PTSD flashback. Yeah, people that's say all that things. Just let them say I presume I, that Jedi's got to be important then, right? Yeah, I hope we'll we see... We'll definitely be seeing him again. Hopefully we have a scene where he talks about his values at some point. That'll be nice. Why yeah. does he get a piece of armor? What did he do? I don't know. Why does he have a signet on it? Is it well? That's the well, mudhorn signet, maybe. One, right? Yeah. Well, is, is this in recognition for defeating the mudhorn back in season one or something? Or do you get it for being a foundling? Is that why? Uh, maybe you do. Yeah, because I consider him a foundling. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's very big. I guess so. You'll grow said, into it. She said he'll grow into it. It's so like yeah, in thirty years, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe, or maybe. try uh, fucking yeah, 100 to... years, baby. I love all these fucking rules they just randomly throw on us. Like, we can't just fly up there because you'll kill the kid. We can't do anything that create noise. You'll kill the kid. And she's like, how do you know all this? Like, because that's what he always does. We'll like, he always, always does. Kill. <laughs> like, always kills why did you guys kid build a cave around the kidnapping dragons and the mad-eating crocodiles? Like, why? All right, we've got nameless Mandos so that they can die in the ensuing battle. Whoa. So the Mandalorians don't have a ship of their own, not one, not a single one. They need to take Bo-Katans. Oh god, yeah, so I hope just, not. Uh, how'd they get here in the first place? I was about to say. Maybe they just like, gr they yeah. just spring up they from took an the Uber. ground. Yeah, so in all the time that it's taking you guys to walk to the dragon's lair. He's gotta be lair, dead. Well, cause think about There's the no time. Way. You flew back after you found out where his lair was. So between then and getting back there and walking here, the dragon's just been chilling out, doing nothing. Yeah. Not Norman, little... not having a little leg. God, it's just back to being sludge again. Yep. yep. The target is on the top of this peak. We sleep out of line of sight and climb at first light. It's an animal. They're gonna go to it's sleep? not like an anti-air You're going to go to sleep. Do you think that you are in any position to be going to sleep right now? Well, this what kid, are you doing? This cl kid clearly doesn't matter to any of these people either. This kid has just got away He's while dead. we sleep. Have you, have you noticed what? how none of them have shown an emotion about this? No, it's just like, yeah, we just gotta go rescue yeah. the kid. No, yeah, none of them are like, oh, that kid, you know, he's he's a great guy. Like, we need to save him sort of thing. It's Nobody cares. How do you eat when other people are around? You go off to find a place where you oh can my take God. off your helmet. <laughs> this is so juvenile and stupid. I hate it so much. Even, well, even like, bo -Katan's like, like sorry, what? <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, hang on. So, like, so, can, so they can eat together? No. So they can get up. Wait, the can they, the can they eat together yeah. if they face away from each other? Ooh, good question. But that means that their entire culture means that they don't have a shared meal. Nope. Shared meals don't exist in their culture. Unless they have a straw. That's insane. Yeah, like whenever they have a big victory and they well, have like you know a how big like, feast. No, they don't get yeah, to Yeah, and like families. Isn't like every human culture so has like what an element of like, yes, they do, shared yeah. dining? Well, well, what happens if another Mando walks back while you're eating that? Are you just fucked? Yeah. Like, you have to yeah, wait. You have to be like, have you got your mask on? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. You gotta go to living water. <laughs> yeah, we need to really make sure to put out that fire, guys. Because we don't want a conflagration to break out. What were you burning? Wood? From where? From where? This is a desert. Now our hope is that the child is still alive, so we have to make sure not to fire on the raptor. It will kill the foundling if attacked. We can't even attack it. It will it will kill the kid if we attack it. So they have to f hope that the kid is. What? So what's going to happen then? then? What does this even go mean? Up there, and the dragon's going to be sleeping, and then one of them will make a sound, and then there'll be a big fight scene, and a couple of the faceless, nameless Mandos it's just, will die. It's just it's funny like that, that they hope that the the dragon has not eaten to him, has let him go, and he's sitting up there just waiting for help. So, like, I know Mandos are meant to be awesome and everything, but uh, all of you, like, do you all know how to do this? Yes. This is part of the training. They're all trained to do this. this <laughs> he looked at the out climbing. They're training. all trained to do... Even though Bo-Katan said that it was her training that taught her how to do mountain... Okay, look, all right, I, I know you guys you. are really cool and everything, but I don't believe you all know how to do this. Or is one of them going to fall here? Okay, we're still climbing. Yeah, we wouldn't want it to, um... <laughs> You can't talk to each other using up using like a, a helmet communicator. I was about to say, like, can't you whisper into the helmets and then it transceives or whatever? Yeah. You can't even whisper. Damn. Well, I sure hope none of you need to say anything to anybody while doing this. Mm -hmm. It's not like this would require a lot of coordination. This is so stupid. What a waste of fuck. This is the whole episode. For fuck's sake.
Yeah, because yep. this is like I'm not going to get my answer. We've had nothing like achieved here. I'm not going to know what what his stupid next quest is. We no, have to climb not. up a massive. Oh, so, um, like people don't like this episode, right? Because this is like the filler episode. Yeah. I don't know if they, people got, consider like, this filler. I never know what people fucking <laughs> think is the filler. Helmet. Yeah. There's a helmet. <laughs> there's a helmet. <laughs> yeah. yeah. This thing just. Hey, that's worth a lot of money. You better grab that. It's not here. Let's find the kid. Oh, look. It's not here, so none of you saw it, like, fly away when you came here, or was it oh. always not here? He's my son. Oh, oh he's why didn't son. we hear anything oh, about what? that beforehand? Oh, he's your son? Ragnar! Ragnar! Ragnar the oh, what, and suddenly now he's emotional and, like, unstable. Why did... Ah! That was... Oh, just shoot it with your guns. You could have had a scene at the campsite. You could night. have yeah. had a scene. Oh, yeah, you could have it. had a scene. Mando talking to shoot him about... Oh, and Mando's got a kid now. You know, like this... What are you doing, show? Shoot. Why is he still on the ground? What is happening? Well, uh, he covered himself up with a yeah. little, tiny little bush. That's a cool looking critter. What's going on? Oh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> What? Oh, yeah, come on. What? He's alive against all reason. What? What? Why are you just in that fucking stomach just... this whole time? Oh, oh you, you guys suck! Now I'm, he's got I'm two just... of you! Oh, oh my god, look at this could have I possibly happened. You... Are they actually can't. trying to convince us that that kid was in his stomach this whole time? Yeah. What the fuck? Hurt, right? What? What is happening? <laughs> look out, Bokuta. I like how that. <laughs> She just so swatted so like a fun. fly. <laughs> Man, they keep humiliating Mandalorians. It's insane. God, Why? Don't stop. you want them to be cool? That dragon thing didn't even care about the fire in, the, in his mouth. In his eye, yeah. Has anyone shot a blaster at it? Or are they not allowed the to do dragons, that? They have, they have to use these. No, stop attaching yourself to big animals. <laughs> oh, she can draw herself oh, in yeah. yeah, you can draw yourself in. I'm going to stab you. Oh, I guess, so it's, yeah, it's dropped him now. Oh, because... so he doesn't get to participate in the rescue of his own son. No, nope. oh, that's cool. How many oh, of those? Oh, now they got the wing. Oh, jeez. But that wouldn't do anything, would it? He could still flap everything. Your knife. Why are you He's flying? Your knife. What, what the fuck? What is going on? I don't what know. What is this bullshit? What an insane scene. What a bunch of toss. Oh, oh they God. did the sound the tune. noise. Just fuck off. Oh, that thing's gonna be pissed. Ah, no, now I'm all wet. Oh, <laughs> oh, crocodile got him. Oh, oh the big crocodile thing. It's always man, a bigger like fish. Man, it's like Jurassic okay. World. Oh, God, it's, man. Oh, so He's this will be like, be. ah, see, Mando, you're okay. You saved, you saved my, my boy. son. I judged you too harshly. Thank you. Inexplicably, I'm okay. This is the way. This is the way. So... He was actually yeah. in the dragon's stomach and yep. just totally just chilling out. Not getting... yeah. Hanging out. So, like, how do you write something like that and and accept that? Do you know, I didn't even, like, my brain didn't even register it. It just, it just thought to itself that the creature burped up a person. Like, yeah. that was just something it could do. Come, Oh, what are those Crayola well, ass fucking helmets? I know, right? Three. Yeah, good job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we're all doing different things. Yeah, we're kind of forever. <laughs> <laughs> you have honored your house and all of Mandalore. This is the way. <gasps> Wait, she said this it. is the way. Is she like, is she just doing it now? And we have brought you three more foundlings in need of care and training. Wait, you're actually going to keep the dragons? Um, you brought them with you? Oh, well, I mean, I guess I guess you uh, killed their mom, so uh, how did they know, all maybe this is the least you can do. Hang on, How did they all fit in there? I don't believe how you. How did they all fit in there? And how are they not, like, hostile? Well, because, I mean, just... there's no such thing when it comes to animals and domestication. I mean, you can do it in an afternoon. She was going to yeah, feed it a person, cost. remember? So you need to find food for them. Well, they'll eat you. I can replace what's missing, but not with with its modern refinements. Shall I inlay the signet of the night owl? Wait, they really knocked off a piece of armor just to have this scene? Would it be acceptable to wear one pauldron of the night owl and another with the mythosaur? Why do you okay. want the mythosaur specifically? So is this Bo-Katan's arc? Uh, I'm reconsidering everything because yeah, I saw that probably. mythosaur. Why Maybe would I cool. no, this scene is gonna last like until the end of the episode. <laughs> yeah, until the credits. <laughs> they will extend yeah, this he... bullshit for as long as they can. Look, mythosaur. Cool is that? What would you say if I told you I saw one? See, you know how she said I saw a real mythosaur. What do you think about that? But we'll we'll take as long as we can to actually say that, won't we? That you saw what? A mythosaur. I would say you are very lucky. It is a noble vision. I mean, a real one. There, we finally got the living waters. When you choose to walk the way of the Mandalore, 
You will see many things. Oh, so she's still not addressing oh. you. Yeah, yeah here's no, 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 my dying. question, please. But like, it's literally called a mythosaur. <laughs> That's not an answer. Why are you like this? Dude, you. she just asked the question like four times and didn't get an answer oh. four times. No, like, I saw one. I physically saw one in the water. Like, yeah, you'll see many things. Oh, you see uh, Back to the sludge. Who wrote? I do love there you go. When back to John Favreau, Dave Stone. Filoni. Yep, I do we love go. when characters just talk at each other. Hey, what if I saw this? This is the way. No, no, hang on. I, I, pretty sure I saw one. Yeah, a really lucky vision you had there. It's like, can you? Talk to me? Like, yeah, can we like have a conversation instead of you fucking around? <laughs> like, yeah. Are you being weird and not answering me? That Favreau Filoni Star Wars content though, right? Jesus Christ. What a... yeah. Which is back to being uh, bullshit again. It wasn't even like a cliffhanger at the end. It's like, this is the next thing. It's like, no, this is just well, the episode now. That's a filler episode. All, there was I think nothing. We, it just seems to be whatever they set up here with this new Jedi character and, and Baby Yoda. That's like all you've got as a real plot thread. Um, Maybe he's going to come episode. back. Who knows? And like, that just came out of nowhere. That but was like, out we... of nowhere. It had absolutely nothing to do with anything that's been happening for the last few episodes. Like, oh, that no, is no. literally, we've resolved what Whatever our drama was, we need to insert this in here to have threads that can continue for the rest of the season. And to be clear, if the next episode starts the flashback and they're in some planet and he's like, ah, oh, baby Yoda, blah, 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 just saying stuff, we could have just started there. We didn't need all of that. Well, because we know that he got out, we yeah. know that he lived, and we didn't learn anything about this new Jedi character in the process other than he did what Jedis do. He saved someone, though, while also leaving the people who came and rescued him, <laughs> leaving them there on the yeah. platform to be killed by those clone troopers. It's yeah, all, was all good. just fucking madness. But I mean, otherwise, Nothing it was, what, 20 sense. minutes for, oh, surprise dragon attack, let's go save the dragon. You know what, Bo-Katan? You're <clears> all right. Oh, God, now I'm saying Bo-Katan. It's Bo-Katan, isn't it? I don't know. I no, think, what I'm are you doing sure. to me? Don't know what the well, correct one is. Well, she says Bo-Katan. She says it. She has to be the authority, right? So, yeah, it's a uh, pretty What's even said, really? It's just, yeah, it's, it's just sludgy. It's all stupid. None of it made any sense. It was all incredibly dumb. I mm. can't believe any of this. I just can't believe it. This nonsense world, devoid of all logic, it's turning me into a nihilist. He actually doesn't have a goal, and they spent a whole you episode know? avoiding having to deal with that. <laughs> I mean, to deal with the fact that he is sans a goal because he was redeemed in episode two, when I think we all thought that was going to be the whole season. I thought, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And another relevant part as well is they're all still here on this planet instead of going back to Mandalore. Like... That Mandalore is okay doesn't mean anything to any of these Mandalorians. Yep. Isn't that nuts? This should have been a conversation. Yeah, what exactly is okay, here well, that they oh, desperately wait, can't leave behind? What, the dragons and the crocogators? Isn't that okay. crazy? Random fucking... Like, in the yeah. first episode, it was random, massive crocogator. And in this episode, it's like, oh no, surprise dragon attack. But not a surprise. Apparently, it's it's abducted people before. And they've just never mounted well, yeah, when any they're making, meaningful uh, rescue attempt before. They're making their initial plans. It's like, you know, we, we would all assume. It's like, well, just, just bum rush it, right? And then it's like, nah, because this has happened before. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I don't even know if it's blaster proof because they never hit it with a blaster, did they? No, they no, just dropped it in the water. And then I think they said, like, we can't use blasters a... because it'll, uh, it'll kill the kid the if we kid. do. That was based on the notion that the kid was in the lair with the dragon, but that wasn't the case. The kid had already been eaten. But just don't hit the part, just don't hit the kid. Just hit the rest of the massive creature. You Like, you're Mandalorians, right? That shouldn't be. Well, an it's issue. just what would have happened if, if they shot at the dragon. It's like, just for that, I'm going to actually digest the kid <laughs> instead of having him chill out out in my esophagus i guess i don't even know oh i just don't know I, I mean we've i mean we got stuff going on in the galaxy everyone's doing their stuff and the new republic's carrying on people are living their lives and all we this all stuff's happening these and meanwhile somewhere else on this discount tatooine world with no vegetation mandalorians are being killed by wildlife in droves and just uh it's, it's their style of writing they don't take any opportunities to say or do anything i can't believe that guy was his father i wouldn't have noticed yeah. that how could you have ever deduced that in any of the prior conversations the only thing would be that in episode one he bumped him out of the way to like save him from the crocodile but like anybody would have done that yeah. you would presume so that that's basically nothing isn't that crazy we just find out oh he's his son oh well there you go that gives him an opportunity to salvage the relationship between him and mando because they kind of don't like each other but he saved his kid because of course robbing the dad of the because it's all got to fall on mando because he's the coolest most awesome guy ever it's so easy to you have the scene where she realizes she's alone at the fire she goes to take a helmet off and then we cut over to big guy and mando walking in a similar direction and then the big guy's like, why are you so invested in this? And Mando could be like, well, the foundling. I was a foundling. 
you know, blah, 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 blah. And then eventually Mando can flip it back on him. Why are you so invested in this? And then he'd be like, I need a reason. You know, blah, 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 until they eventually talk and talk and you figure out something. Just anything, please. Anything at all. The character. That would be wonderful. We had that whole flashback and there was zero character. We had plenty of lightsabers and lasers and places I recognize and speeder chase and, and the LAATs and the temple. But like, I don't think I'm going to remember any of that. <laughs> yeah, it's all just flash and CGI and not nothing is going on here. Nothing's happening. I don't care about anything that's going on. It's all nonsense. Nothing makes sense. Nothing makes sense. That's the thing. Like, nothing makes sense. It's crazy. The main person that's getting any form of, dare I say change, I guess, is Bo-Katan. But it's in the form of like, this is the way stuff is dumb. And now she's like, it's not so dumb, maybe. It's gonna take a whole season to get to the end of that as well. Because well, why? we waste so much time. What is she interested in? I don't know. I don't know what her goal even is, because she doesn't seem to be making much of an effort to get back to Mandalore. Wasn't that her whole goal? Was to go back to Mandalore and, like, save it? Yeah, but we don't know anything about what that entails or what her plan is for it, or uniting mm -hmm. Mandalorians. All we have is she's turning from one thing I don't care about into another thing I don't care about. And I don't mm -hmm. care about her, so I just don't care. What will happen next time? I don't know. That's kind of well, my view. Is I have no idea. Well, it's hard to it's hard to say now, isn't it? Because at least in season two, there was the overarching Moff Gideon thing. Now I don't know because, of course, this episode doesn't help us figure out what episode three has been building up to. This episode had nothing to do with that one. I certainly hope that people don't generally consider this episode to be better than the last one, but. I get the, you might be disappointed, disappointed there, Fringy. I understand that that is the case, yeah. Because the, what people will say is that both of them barely had any substance, but at least this one isn't boring. Uh, yeah, we're in that really bad place of things not making any sense where you just, anything can happen now. Yep. <laughs> Alright, anyway, that's episode four. Yep, that's Whoa. that. I suppose so. Goodbye, everyone. We'll see you next mm -hmm. time. Goodbye. See you all later. See you. Bye. 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 What you bring? 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 What you bring me?